All right, guys, Mr. Miyagi style. How do you guys like my new haircut? All right, you guys been asking for this, so I'm just gonna talk while I do this. Um, I think a couple of people have been asking uh, about what I bring with me in, my, in terms of my gear bag. So I'm actually getting ready for a dive trip in the end of this month, well, on the 18th to Cuba. So I have my, I have to pack up my dive gear, and my camera equipment. So this, these two are what I carry with me. So on our airline, we're allowed to have one big check-in luggage, and then we have a carry-on, and then we have a uh, personal item, which is, this thing is my precious treasure chest right here. Now, all my expensive shit is in here, uh, and then here is a second. So I always have these with me, and I don't check these in just because of, you know, uh, theft and that kind of, they, they throw stuff around so they can get damaged. Uh, so I'm going to go through this bag, and I'll go through this bag with you. Um, this is the rest of the stuff that over here you'll see that's going to go into the check-in luggage. These are not really expensive stuff. They're just kind of uh, optional accessories for, for dive. This is all this is just dive stuff, and then plus my clothes for the, uh, for the week. Um, so I'll go through this quick. I'm going to put this aside. Um, works great. It passes through. Goes on the overhead uh, uh, um, um, compartment for the uh, uh, airplane. So first things first. Uh, this guy right here always have strap with me. It's, a, it's actually a blow up pillow for my uh, for my plane, um, and it just straps on here. So I'll put this aside. Doesn't get dangled around. I always keep a TSA TSA lock just to lock in case my lock. Uh, if I'm leaving it, uh, I shouldn't be leaving things unattended. <laughs> um, Anyways, just just as a precaution, I'm like I said, I'm very freakish. This is a very, you'll see why this is this is the bag I guard with my life. Uh, first things first, I'm just gonna take everything out. Now, if you ever get a chance to find a bag like this, this is a Case Logic um, SLR bag. I've had this thing for probably I would say 15 years, and it's last. I've, I've traveled so many places with this thing, and I love this thing. And if you look at the size of this, it looks like a little backpack. You'd be amazed at what this thing actually can hold. And you'll see why uh, I love this bag. First and foremost, uh, the bag has a laptop compartment. Now I usually carry, I used to always carry a small laptop with me. Uh, it's, a, it's just a 13 inch laptop, but I just don't want to carry it with me. Not to mention that, you know, in your hotel room, they're expensive uh, and they're bulky, they're big. Uh, so now I just, I invested in a nice uh, tablet. Um, this is the Samsung S8 Lite tablet. Um, and it's a pen tablet as well. And it's quite powerful, so it does all the work that I need to do for image editing, light image editing, that kind of thing. And I have all the software for it. So I just pump all the uh, <clears throat> camera pictures into this or video, and then I can just edit in here. And this is a, this is an Android tablet, so it also has the Insta360 app that's in here. So I can do it on here instead of using my phone for my, uh, for my Insta360, which is great. So this is piece number one. Uh, and I, I put movies on there. I've got a big uh, SD card in there. I put movies and I watch movies with that thing on the plane. Uh, second there, and this compartment is always my wireless buds. So I, I carry two with me all the time. One as a backup. And I can use that for movies or music with my tablet. And then we're going to go up top here. That there's, <laughs> It's got so many compartments. So the top is just a little pocket. So this is where I keep my, you know, Kleenex and hand wipes, chapstick, and of course, medicine. So, you know, grab all and, and all of that stuff for traveling, right? So that, that stays in here, it's easy. And I put some side, I'll say I put granola bars in here for snacks and stuff like that. So that's done, I gotta take that out. There's another compartment up here, which is kind of nifty. This is a, this is a upper lip compartment. So this is where I keep my, you'll see what this, I'll open, open that in a second. I keep pens in here for filling out immigration forms. I have extra mask in here instead, in case I need it. I have some antiseptic wipes uh, just in case I need it as well. So that's all tucked in here. I have my, uh, magnifying glasses because I'm getting old can't see things up close so I used to carry one of me it always gets banged up and, and it gets broken so I <laughs> you can buy these on AliExpress or right? you need got your little fold up glasses that opened up and they fold out into magnifiers <laughs> my god the gadgets are crazy so they just fold up goes in goes that and they just go in here and it's Flip in there, so not a big deal. So that comes up. I'll lay everything out on the on the ground here, and then I'm gonna get to that bag. So this is my um, for when I need stuff on a plane. So this is actually my uh, cable bag. So it has my adapters, flashlight, my uh, crucial um, remember that external memory um, SSD memory. Uh, this one's 500 gig, so I can download stuff. I have two 256 gig uh, USB keys on here. I have a a USB memory card reader 
So if I need to use this to read SD cards, micro SD cards, that kind of thing, I can use that. I have some adapters here that go from, from type C to type A, type A, type C, type B to type A, blah, blah, type B to type C. Extra cables on here and I have a flashlight on here. So that's my, uh, my uh, cable bag and that goes here. All right. <laughs> so I've got this compartment, this compartment, this compartment. So I'm gonna close this off. Okay, so this is the main compartment in here. And it's nice, this bag's a case logic bag and actually has these padded things, dividers, they can actually uh, 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 adjust uh, to your, customize to your liking. So this is my bag right here. I don't know if you can see it, I hope you can. Okay, so everything that I that's the most expensive is in this bag and in that bag. It's probably the most expensive stuff is in this bag. So this is my normal travel bag that I always carry with me. Um, first things first, if I'm doing diving, there's gonna be more diving stuff, diving related stuff like housings, waterproof housings, um, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna start from the bag and move up, okay? So the back here I've got a case, not sure what that is for. Uh, actually, no, I'll go from here. So on the lid here, there's actually pockets. So in the pockets here, I keep these, um, these uh, condensation pads for some of the um, the cases for the uh, dive housing to absorb moisture. They're called moisture pads. I have uh, I printed this out. It's just a little <laughs> memory card thing, so I keep extra memory cards in here. Okay, uh, backup. Now it goes in here, and I will actually have two things in here. Uh, I'll show you what these are. These are just extra photo film. Uh, I'll put them over here. That's for my um, Ace Pro Lens Guard protector when I take it off. And I always keep a backup phone. Uh, I always carry two phones with me. Um, one I use regularly, and this is a backup just in case something happens to my other phone. I have a backup phone uh, to use. I have an Ace Pro, and uh, sorry, I have a, uh, a Google Pixel phone. Um, nice thing about the Pixel of why I bought it for, for traveling is great. If you guys ever wonder, I want to ask me what questions. Um, the eSIMs uh, in these phones, there's only a few phones that have the eSIMs built in, uh, Samsung, Apple uh, iPhones, and then the uh, Google Pixel phones. They're great if you're driving a lot, it saves you so much money to get voice or data in different countries. Um, if, you, if you're interested in that, just, just, just there's a whole bunch of videos on stuff like that. You can just uh, uh, message me down below. So that's that, uh, I'll get to that in a second. So this, starting from the bottom up, um, my obviously selfie stick, it's a 360, it's a 360 and it turns into a uh, tripod as well. There, okay. I have a couple things, take them out. And take this one out. Uh, so this will get to in a second. So this is, uh, so I have two, I have a, uh, I have the Insta360, the RS1 model, the one, uh, the twin uh, kit, that one that comes with the 360 lens and the 4K boost lens. So this is where I usually have the 360 lens on there all the time, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I just actually printed up a case to store my, so it doesn't get scratched up or knocked around. It's actually for the, uh, the 4K boost lens, it's actually in here. It just pops out and I just, because uh, the Insta360 uh, One RS is modular. So you can actually pop the lens out, put a new, another lens in, pop the battery out, uh, so on and so forth. That's actually a great little camera. So that's the uh, that's the 4K lens. Uh, I actually printed this myself, made it myself. Uh, <laughs> backup batteries. So I have batteries here for a uh, for the, all the cameras that I carry, and I'll show you what the cameras I carry. Uh, oh, I, just, I don't need that one. I have the um, uh, uh, extra battery for the uh, the uh, Insta360 One RS, which is right here. So I just made this so it doesn't get, because I used to have it in the back pocket, and it used to get knocked around and stuff like that. So now I've got it in this little box here, and it just closes up with a lid, and I can just store it on the side. Zip ties, always bring zip ties with you guys. We travel! I'm gonna tell you this again. <clears throat> uh, it's so useful, you never know when you need these. Um, this is just a cage, a plastic cage for the uh, my uh, DJI Osmo Action camera which I'll show you in a second uh, I'll move up so here I printed this case as well this is I have two dive watches so I have this one here which is a Garmin MK2i dive watch and I also have a uh, Aqua Aqua Lung um, the uh, i330R dive watch I actually I wear two dive watches when I dive uh, one is engaged mode and one is actually uh, uh, doing all the um, the calculations and the uh, uh, and the logging so that's over here Ooh, look at that, it's got the Decepticon. I'm a big, I'm a big uh, <coughs> um, what do you call it? Transformer fan. <laughs> um, I have a mouse. Uh, I don't know why I'm carrying this. I can use this mouse for my tablet. So that's why I guess, because it's a Bluetooth. 
So that's why I carry it around with me. Just again, when I'm in the hotel room, I just I can just use it. And it's just easier. Um, this is funky. I got this last year, and I love this thing. It's the um, the Canon Zinc printer. It's a portable printer, so it prints out three by two by. That's what these are for. This is the film for it. So it actually prints out when you you can connect it to Bluetooth to your phone. The app, the app, you get any picture that you download to your phone and take pictures. I can print it remotely. It comes out in a two by. It's kind of like those those little uh, Instax things, but it's actually a printer. So actually Bluetooth printing. You can do special effects, and these actually are adhesive. So not only are they little 2.2 by 3 pictures, they're actually uh, stickers. So you can stick them on people's heads and stuff like that. Foreheads. So you got a stick right here. It's Spider-Man. It's the 360. Anyways, that's that. External drive, one terabyte. I carry with me as a backup. Over here, I have the two waterproof housings uh, for the, Insta 360 camera. So this one is the one for the, uh, for the RS1. And this is the one for the... Um, the uh, Ace Pro, so I have two. These were two. Well, these two will go down with me in the water um, when I go down to, to dive. Uh, one will be mounted on. You've, uh, I'll post a video of the mounting stuff that I mounted on. One will be mounted on my actual vest, and the other one I'll have on the uh, selfie stick, and it goes in my pocket. Uh, so I carry that with me. Uh, I don't know which one to do yet. I think I probably will put the One RS on my on my vest. And I'll carry this one because I want to be able to do some stills with it and stuff like that with this because the stills are really good. So that's that. So look at all this crap. That's I haven't even gotten half of it yet. Uh, always, for my Pixel 7, I have a waterproof case. I'm big into waterproofing, as you can see. Uh, Universal, these are great, guys. If you ever get a chance to buy this, there's a company called DigiPower. You can buy them at Best Buy. Uh, they're about 40 bucks, 25 bucks US, I think. And they actually can charge different types of batteries so the battery pack that I have here that have all these multiple different batteries so instead of charging it using the device as a charger I can actually as long as I have these contact points okay so how these things work is uh, the universal charges is you just take let's say this one right here I don't know if you can see there's three contact points brass points and there's also there always is a plus and a minus so there's actually two prongs on these that are that are actually adjustable you touch those two prongs to the plus and the minus on the on the battery, and then you use this to lock it. And then there's a plug that flips up. And you just plug it in and it actually charges it. And it charges like any kind of battery that has these, these contact points. As long as there's a plus and a minus, you just have to touch those two to the plus and minus. And I've even been using this for years and it's great. It's even when you plug it in, it's even got a USB so you can plug a USB and plug a, a, your phone into it and charge it in here as well. So these are super duper useful. I definitely recommend these if you ever get a chance to get them. Um, I always carry that with me. So that's one. Um, so these, this is just cables, uh, 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 what do you call it? Speed chargers. Um, just extra cables, mounts and stuff like that, or thumb screws I keep in here. So this is just bits and pieces of stuff, okay? This is what I carry with me on the boat. Um, this is a solar power, 20,000 milliamp uh, battery pack. And it opens up uh, on the side here. So I can't see with these glasses on here. Uh, on the back here, so sorry. When you turn it on, there's this ports in the back. There's USB uh, C, USB A ports in the back. Um, there's multiple ports. There's like five, six ports in the back. So it actually some are are high speed, are uh, fast charging, and some are not. So typically, what I would do is with the Ace Pro. This is going to be ex excellent to do this with the Ace Pro because uh, between dives, I can actually take my Ace Pro out and just charge it with this thing. And I only need about ten minutes charge in between dives. It's about half an hour, right? So I needed about 10 minutes uh, uh, charging time and then then I can have a full camera, ba almost three quarters of a camera battery. Like this is this is one thing about this fast charging technology that I really want in this Ace Pro, to be able to extend your shooting time when you're out, you know, uh, somewhere. You can't do that with a GoPro. GoPro takes forever to charge. Uh, I know I have them. DJI also takes a while to charge. The new DJI 4 has, I think the new DJI 4 has rapid charging as well. So this is neat and this is solar. So once it touches light, it starts to charge. You see the blinking light? <laughs> and you can actually press it. Uh, it'll tell you how much battery you have on there. If you press it long enough, there's actually a flashlight with this too. So, pretty cool. And these things are not expensive, they're cheap. So that's the power pack. Okay, so now we get to the hardware. So first things first, 
I always carry a long zoom camera with me. I used to carry my SLR, that the one I used to film this, um, with me to to uh, take great photos. But you know, it's getting too bulky, heavy, and I'm accumulating all this other diving stuff, action cameras that I just don't have room for that camera. It's like it's it's huge. If you ever see my sixty three hundred, it's massive plus the lenses, right? Uh, so I now invested in a Lumix camera, uh, <laughs> like a lens. Yeah, Panasonic uses like a lens as well, uh, like a technology. This is one of the best cameras. These are what they call, we call long zoom cameras. So this camera itself, uh, I believe this is 30, 30 X. Uh, sorry, I think this is, I think this is 30 X. So this is actually 30 times zoom optical, which is insane. You should see the photos of this. If you want us want samples, let me know, I'll post some samples. Uh, I had this in Costa Rica with me in November or October. And I was taking shots at 30x zoom, and it's incredibly how clear it is. And it's optical zoom; it's not digital zoom. Um, so if you when you turn it on, you'll see what I mean. Like how far the zoom extends. <laughs> so this, <laughs> it's crazy. So now I just carry this for for that camera that just uh, I if I go on excursions and stuff like that, or just around a resort, I'll use this. Or if I'm on tour in a boat, I'll use this. If I don't, if I'm not close to water. This is what I use, and it's even got a little manual focusing ring on the side. So there's another camera. Sony makes ones as, as well, um, and so does Canon. I have the other Canon one. I have the XX620, uh, 720, sorry, which my wife uses, and it's, I think, 40x zoom on it. Um, so my wife carries that one, and I bought the Lumix. I wanted the Lumix because it's actually, it has the Leica engineering lens, and it's much better uh, in terms of the uh, photo quality, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, so that's that. That's just all around, it's not waterproof, okay? Just so you know. Now, around the beach, around the pool bar, I have this guy. Um, a lot of people make fun of this camera. It's one of the best cameras, I think, ever made. It's a Fujifilm XP series. And this is the XP 140, I think. There's actually, I think, a 150 or 160 out. So the reason why I bought this was I've had this for a few years, and it takes great photos. Like, it's, it's a good still camera, underwater and above water. So this is a whole underwater camera. This is the only commercial camera in the industry that is rated at 82 feet. I can take this down to 80 feet. So that means I can do open water dive with this. Not advanced. Advanced, uh, it's 100 feet, right? But the funny thing is I usually keep this in my pocket in my dive jacket. And one time I went on a 100 feet dive and this I forgot this was in my pocket. <laughs> and I came out, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It didn't go through the water, didn't go through, nothing. But it was in my pocket, to be, to, to be honest. So it wasn't... None of the buttons are pressed. Uh, but I've had this under 60 feet, works perfectly fine, no leaks, nothing. So this camera I've had for a while and it's great sandproof, drop proof. Uh, I carry this when I throw this thing around and it's on the pool. I have a little floating thing. So if I'm at the pool bar, I just let it sit and it just floats around the pool. <laughs> it's like a community camera. <laughs> so it's a great little camera for a good still. It's not, it's not Leica or it's not Carl Zeiss lens, not Nikkor, but it takes really good stills and it's rugged as heck. So this is the all around beat up beach camera or pool bar camera. So that's the other one I break. Okay, now we get to the action camera. First things first, my DJI Osmo. Okay, so it's in its own, it's in its waterproof case. That's what this is. This is the, the, the bracket for it. So if you're not waterproofing, I, I just put it in that bracket. Um, this has been the camera I've been using for diving. Uh, I, you know, I've been using this for a few years. It takes great video. I have a Sony one as well. I have a GoPro and I uh, also have another, I have two GoPros. Uh, the Sony one I should take them. This is the first time because of the Ace Pro, I'm not taking two of the other camera. I will, will not be taking my GoPros uh, and I'm not taking my Sony. Uh, I think the Ace Pro is going to take over those guys. I still like this one just because it, it it's rugged, it's small profile and it does a job. And this is going to go to my wife. So she carries a, a camera as well. I carry three cameras when I dive. So that's coming with me. And of course, you guys all know we have the Ace Pro. So that's in here. So this is the one I was talking about. I have the One RS, the Twin Edition. This is the one. So this one, right now, you'll see this little funky thing. I wish you could get lens protectors for, for 3D or 360 lenses, but you cannot. There's no way to do it. I actually bought the ones that you can find on, on their site on eBay. It doesn't work very well uh, because it's a concave lens. Uh, the, the, um, the edges will catch and won't stitch properly so how 360 works is it, it's 180 so this lens takes 180 and this lens takes 180 and the software stitches together gives you that 360 um, uh, video and the nice thing about this is i love this thing 
it's just it's so cool it's tiny battery life is like huge and it's long the screen is not nothing to, to chirp about it's, <laughs> it's tiny okay but you sacrifice for, the reason why it's so tiny is because it's, this thing is modular okay so this camera is tiny so when you press this when you pop the battery out the battery comes out I have the extra battery here this is fully modular so I can pull this out <laughs> so the whole camera comes to pieces the reason why they did this is so this is the brain this is the display and the brain of the whole thing so I can take the uh, uh, the 360 module off off and I can actually put in a 4K boost lens. So now this is a 4K boost lens. And basically what it does is it just connects like this, right? Uh, and then you have the boost. And you can put the screen in the front or back. So which is kind of neat. So you can actually have the front. You can only do it one way, right? And the battery just mounts in. And now you have a 4K camera with a screen in the back. And it's, it's pretty small. And it's waterproof. This thing, this thing is actually the whole thing is waterproof, which is really neat that it's it's connected, it's modular, and it's actually waterproof. Um, so that's the neat thing about this camera. So um, that said, I'll put this back in its cage. So this is the cage for it comes with a cage, and you lock it in, and you can mount it on. Right. Um, next up is uh, uh, I only carry this one for fun, just to goof around. It is my DJI Action 2. I still love this camera because of the, it's so tiny. It's kind of taken over my um, my D, or my GoPro session. I still like my session uh, because the session doesn't overheat like this one does. Um, this one is, you have to use it in the right temperature. You can't be too hot, it can't be too cold, or it just doesn't work, right? It takes great videos. It's a really neat little design. But this thing, when you run it, it gets hot. It's crazy how hot this thing gets. Um, this is something DJI has not fixed. I just don't think they can because it's such a small format. But that said, the GoPro doesn't have a problem. The Session doesn't have a problem with that. The GoPro is a little small. It's the same size, but it's a little thicker. It never overheated on me. Not the Session anyways. Um, the Session is one of the best cameras I ever made. Too bad GoPro discontinued that, uh, uh, that format. Anyway, so that's my gear bag. Uh, look at all the shit it carries. You know, like I can put it on this little bag and it's, it's crazy. Like, and this will fit underneath the, uh, the, uh, the seat in the airplane. Uh, so it slides right in perfectly. Uh, so I've been traveling with this for years now with all the shit in here. Um, so it works really well uh, for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, before my camera overheats again, probably will in a second. So I'm just going to go over this really quick. And I'm running, I didn't get it going long enough. If you guys wanted to see this, you guys asked for this, so you guys got it. So uh, anyway, so this is this is just a case for this. Right I put it in, I store it in this case. So that's what it does. Okay, so... This is my carry-on. Uh, I actually bought this this year. I used to carry a soft um, uh, carry-on, and it used to be so fat. It used to be like this fat. It was like this big and this high, right? And there were times in Costa Rica where I almost didn't make it through because they made me test it in one of those 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 uh, template things uh, for carry-ons. So if it doesn't fit in there, you're not taking it with you. You have to check it in. And because it was a soft, I, I managed to just jam it in <laughs> and got it to fit. Um, but I hope I, I don't think I broke anything inside. Uh, that was it because I keep you see what I keep inside that uh, this this particular carry on. So I bought this one. It's a Bugatti. Oh, I didn't know they make luggages. Didn't they make cars? It's a Bugatti luggage. It's a uh, polycarbonate. So a polycarbonate. If you're buying a luggage, always buy polycarbonate. Uh, don't buy ABS. ABS is cheaper. Uh, they're not as tough. Polycarbonate is really tough. Um, I have a Samsonite as well, which is polycarbonate, and I've had that thing for 20 years, and it's been thrown around, and it's still, it's still good, and I still use it. Um, anyways, so this is a neat little one right here. It's got the little retractable, of course, the usual. The nice thing about this is that you can actually put a power bank inside on the side here. It's got a flipped up cap here that has a USB, so you can actually charge your phone uh, using your luggage. And it's got, and this is one of the, the carry-ons that have actually combination lock, which I really like, uh, just in case, you know, when somebody gets into it or whatever. Anyways, I'll open it up, and, and it's expandable, so you can actually unzip it, and I'll go, you don't want to go too fat, because if you go too fat, then it's not going to fit in the compartment, right? This will fit perfectly, because I know this will fit, because it's smaller than my, my usual one, soft one I carry, and it's bigger, and it always fits in the compartment, no problem. So I know this is going to fit, because this is actually smaller. And funny thing is, being that small, it actually carries more <laughs> than the soft one. Uh, so, I have two compartments in here. Uh, I don't carry clothes in here. I carry this stuff and I carry some snacks in here. And that's pretty much it. Most of my stuff here, uh, on the right side here, uh, uh, this is all diving stuff. <laughs> so, when I go diving, this is just diving crap, right? So, it's two compartments. This is where you need stuff. Bugatti has a waterproof one. So, if you have, like, wet stuff, it goes in here. So, it doesn't spread all over the place. Um, 
He's got this one. I have these ones. This is my uh, my diving shorts. Uh, they have pockets on the side and it, it just straps on. I put my camera on one side and I put my shears uh, uh, dive light on the other side. So anyways, that can go up. This is where it's at. This is probably the most expensive piece in here. Uh, so this is my regs. I opened it up. This is my kid. This is actually quite heavy. So this is my regs. My regs is then these are accessories. So I have the uh, I have my line reel. I have my sausage. Um, I have my dive light reel. Look at that. Ah! <clears throat> uh, and uh, my portable snorkel. Blah blah blah. I have an extra extra SPG that carries me just in case mine breaks. So a few things in here. I have my regs in here. Uh, so these are my uh, main regs for diving. Uh, right here, the octo and the, and the regs and my signal thing. So if I see a a, a turtle or a shark, it's my signaler. Um, and then I also carry small accessories like you know uh, thumb screws, uh, um, snap snap hooks, that kind of thing. Mount for my uh, BCD for the camera. Uh, extension uh, camera mount and I also have my um, bracket for my uh, my big guy I'll show you in a second what this thing is for um, so yeah that's that that's this is like expensive my regs alone here is is fourteen hundred dollars so yeah I don't I'm not gonna check that shit sorry ain't gonna happen get somebody a nice Christmas present if I did that um, and we know how reliable luggage handlers are <laughs> yes so that's that, close that off. So that fits really well in here. Um, go on this side here. On this side, I have my dive gloves on that side. And I'll get to this in a second here. So this is my, my dive vest. You'll see a picture, you've seen a picture of this. Uh, it's a blue and, and black dive vest there. It's a travel vest. So it actually folds up into a nice little bag like this. All right, and then it folds back up and it's a dive vest. Uh, this thing is amazing, I love this thing. Uh, it's so portable and so small. Uh, I have another one that's not foldable and it's just massive, right? And it's heavy. Uh, this is about seven pounds right here. Um, so if I can put it in here, I reduce the weight of my check-in luggages. Because check-in luggages, you're, you're restricted to only 50 pounds or 20 kilograms. Um, so a lot of times I bring gifts and stuff like that and I have so much stuff that it almost exceeds that amount I have to be really careful what I what I, so this should help I, I'm taking another because this used to be my checking luggage now I can put in my uh, uh, my carry-on so now I've taken another seven eight pounds off of my luggage so I can put more stuff in that that, that check-in luggage so this is the other thing I'll get to this I like to do a review of this this is a this is what we call an enclosure so I think I did a quick review of this pass so this is a company called Kraken, and the distributor is actually in, in our city. Um, so what they do is they carry uh, 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 enclosures for um, phones. Sea uh, Life carries it. Uh, there's a company called Sea Life. Um, they do a lot of underwater photography equipment, Sea uh, Life cameras, and that kind of thing. They actually carry an enclosure like this. Um, what basically this does is it allows you to take your phone underwater. Okay, so this thing actually pops out the screen and if you want I can do I'm just gonna go through this briefly I'm not gonna go through it I, I can do a review on this if you guys are interested at all uh, I love this thing it's amazing there's two batteries that go in here compartment okay your phone goes in here okay this will fit a certain size of phone it's pretty big I have a 6.5 that fits in here uh, there's actually bigger ones you can buy if you have a bigger phone right um, they, they, they actually had an update to this I think it's just a little bit tad bigger and the screens bigger for larger phones um, so once you put your phone in here and line it up, you turn the, the only disadvantage of this thing is your phone's on all the time. Uh, I, I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, this is the phone I use exclusively for this guy. Um, so you have to be careful with this O rings right across here that gives you waterproofing right in here. Okay, so I'll just make sure those are good. Is it here? I can't see it. Yeah, you see, I can feel it. It's right. It's right in here. Okay, so you just have to make sure that O-ring's clean when you close it up, don't have hair in it. So the neat thing about this is that uh, um, when you, do I have this here? Nope, where is it? Uh, anyways, I'll do that. If you want to review, I'll do it. So the phone goes in here, you close. All right, guys. Sorry, I had the, my, uh, this guy overheated look how big this guy is that's my sony a6300 great camera uh, for stills video mm. 
not a big fan of it. It keeps overheating about it's it's a, it's a problem. It's a chronic problem with this camera, mm -hmm. with these cameras. If you're shooting 4K on them, they tend to they overheat and then they'll just shut off and it's usually around the 20 to 30 minute mark. Uh so um, I don't know how you GoPro guys live with that shit. Uh, I just, I it would just, it just, it just drives me crazy. I'm losing footage. I have to swap over. Like right now, I'm shooting with my uh, my uh, Ace Pro. So, anyways, get back to this. So, what this enclosure does essentially is you put your phone in, you close it, and you lock it. Okay. So once you lock it, there's a light that blinks. It's a red light. Okay. And that's what this front is. There's a there's a little uh, connector that comes with. It's like a pump. Okay. It comes with this camera. You screw the pump on. You 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 press. Uh, you vacuum the, the air out of the um, the actual uh, um, enclosure, and then when the all the air out, you'll get a green light. When the green light means uh, that you're good to go. So your phone is in there. It's on. It's 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 enabled. So you have to download this app, and you can use Open Camera, which is really cool. Open Camera is an open source camera app, and it works much better. You can do much more uh, uh, configurations and settings, and open up RAW and stuff like that. 4K is amazing on it, and it's fast too. Um, so th that's what I like about this case. So this case initially has Bluetooth and it's connected to your phone via Bluetooth and you can actually control your phone, shutter, zoom, everything's got all these controls in the front. They, they, all these controls in the front, you can see. They all work with the camera. So if I want to zoom in, I can just set the camera. I can go from uh, video 4K to stills just by a button, okay? And I can take stills and it's really fast. Now it will depend on your camera or your phone as well. So there are some phones that are just crappy for, for video, uh, TV uh, stills and video. I had this phone from a few years back. Um, it's actually a, a Chinese phone. Now I ordered the wrong version. I ordered the Chinese version of this and it's not great in North America for the phone part of it. But the camera on this thing, it's one of the best I've seen in any phone. And I've been using this for this. And you should see some of the footage I get from this thing. Even the 4K is phenomenal on this. Um, so I've been using this exclusively. It's reset the factory and it only has the, the, the cam. I don't use it as a phone. So it only has uh, the camera apps that I need for this enclosure. So And the battery on this lasts forever too. For some weird reason, I could have this running for literally... Because when it's in the enclosure, it has to be on all the time, the phone and the enclosure. Now, the enclosure with Bluetooth lasts forever because it's just Bluetooth, right? And it runs on two um, AAA batteries. The phone, however, if you have a phone that, that chews batteries, uh, it's not a good option because when I dive, um, my phone, this phone is in this enclosure and it's on for a good three hours, almost two to three hours on, like, display on so what i do is i turn everything off i two location services the only thing that's on in this is the bluetooth wi-fi is off i haven't dimmed down the screen because the brighter the screen you have uh the more power it drains right and the other trick is to have a a, a dark uh, um, um uh, background uh, wallpaper because dark wallpaper requires less light therefore less power uh than than one that has the bright uh, wallpaper but I have this, so the, the dimness is down so low, it doesn't really matter because you're in the water, it's dark, you can actually see it anyways, right? It's, it's just as long as it's bright, you can you can see it. So, and and when, I, when I'm when i done shooting, I'm done diving, I do two dives and I come back in a boat, this is still on. This is when I'll take it out of the case, make sure there's no water around me and make sure this is all cleaned up and rinsed before I open it up. You don't want to get salt water in this thing because there are contact points, brass contact points. If you get, if you get uh, salt on this, it will start to corrode and that's it for the case, right? Um, <clears throat> so once I'm done, everything's wiped down, it's clean. Um, this will actually come out and I have probably about 30% left of battery, 30, 40% left of battery in this thing during that whole two dive shooting. And I shoot a lot uh, with this thing for in two dives, right? So the neat thing about this is I carry this with me. I have my, uh, I have my, uh, uh, one of my action cameras on my vest and I actually have one that the pants that I have with a pocket. I actually have one in a uh, selfie stick that's strapped into my pocket. So I can actually use three cameras simultaneously. Uh, this is the main one that I use for like still shots. And I have, I actually have that, um, that bracket. So it's actually a handle and I can actually put a light on top. I have a dive light so I can actually do some photography with this. Um, but I think I want to do a little bit more video. I think the video on the, uh, Ace Pro with the low light is going to be much better than this one. So I'm going to try to do more video um, instead of stills. Um, so 
Uh, that'd be cool to, to be able to do that. Anyways, that's that's the explanation for that. If you guys want me to go further into this, I can do a full video on, on doing uh, phone enclosures, that kind of thing. Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, I think this is long enough. I'll try and edit this, and, and I think it's probably going to be half an hour for this. Uh, but that's it. Any questions? Uh, this is my gear. This is what I can, <laughs> believe it or not. This is what I'm not, I'm not talking about clothes either. Uh, this is what I carry when I do a dive trip. Uh, so all this comes with me. Um, and it goes in the safe at the hotel room. All the expensive stuff goes in the safe. Um, yeah, any questions? Drop me a line. Thank you very much. Adios. Ciao. Peace. Respect.